The folk history of America is the history of its heroes. Big tall working men like John Henry, Paul Bunyan, and Big Bad John. But today I'm going to introduce another folk hero. He didn't work in a coal mine or a railroad or any of those strenuous occupations. This dude worked in a beauty salon, and his name was Bruce. Every day at the salon, you could see him arrive. He stood six foot six, weighed 105, kind of narrow in the shoulders, narrow in the hips, with a curl in his hair, but a smile on his lips. Big Bruce. Nobody knows where Brucey came from. He kind of swished into town, stayed all alone. He never said much, kind of quiet and shy. And when he spoke at all, it was just to say hi, Big Bruce. Now some say he came from Atlanta, Nashville, or maybe New Orleans, where he had a social group called the Cajun Queens. Others say Hollywood, possibly Beverly Hills, where Brucey got arrested for passing $3 bills. Big Bruce. But then came the day of that terrible fire when something went wrong in that number five dryer. Into the chaos of those matronly days went Big Bad Bruce just fanning the flames. Big Bruce. The flames grew higher and the fire got worse. And someone heard Brucey scream, Mercy! I forgot my purse. Into the fire with a squeal and a shout. We waited an hour, but he never came out. Big Bruce. Poor old Brucey Woosey. Where that salon once stood, there's a grocery store, but his name will live forevermore. In the annals of time and in the hall of fame, as a gay young cat that went down in flames. Big Bruce. You might say this has been kind of a fairy tale, kind of a walk on the wild side. He could have been a guitar picker in Nashville. He could have carved your joints.